first thing I'd like to mention is we seem to have a lot of new viewers lately and I wanted to thank everybody for checking out my channel. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Uh, today's video is uh, based on comments from one of our viewers, Lizzie Moore, that uh, talked about using acid to clean stones. So here I have a couple of Herkimers that have calcite and stuff. These aren't particularly great crystals, but they'll uh, serve their purpose for this, this demonstration. Then I have this little little piece of Vug that has a couple of nice pieces in it. Um, this little crystal over here isn't bad. This one up here isn't bad. So I'm going to soak this in acid and see what we can remove from the calcite and other things to start freeing these stones up and see if they drop out or maybe can be removed really easily after the fact. So I don't generally like to do it with chemicals, but it is definitely a way that it can be done. Um, Lizzie said she used, I believe it was uh, vinegar. I'm going to use something a little stronger. I'm going to use muriatic acid that you can get at the hardware store. Uh, one thing to note is this stuff does make fumes. Uh, if you put metal in it, it makes, well, actually, I think if you put most things in it, it makes hydrogen gas, which is flammable, explosive even. So, um, you know, put this stuff outside or I'm going to put it out in my garage after I mix it together. But I'll mix this up and uh, we'll take a peek on this. And uh, right, I poured some acid in there. I don't know if you can see. It is sizzling away in there. You can see the little ripples on the surface. But it's making bubbles right now. A lot of it's hydrogen gas. Uh, so I'm going to move this out to the garage now. But you can see it's totally actively working on the stone right now. So I'm going to put this out in the garage so I don't blow myself up. And we'll check in on it in a couple of days and see how things are going. All right, here's my uh, acid and stone concoction. Uh, a couple, five, six days later, I didn't uh, write down what day I started this. But, uh, yeah, you can see it definitely dissolved a lot of material out of here. I haven't checked the uh, acidity. I don't know how dead the acid is now, but I'm going to suit up, put my rubber gloves on and stuff, and uh, take these out, rinse them, and uh, we'll see what we ended up with. Okay, all these stones have been soaking in water for a while to dilute the acid that's on them. Now if I take these, uh, these two straddling the label here, there's uh, basically no matrix left on them at all. Clean them all off. These two back here, I mean, there's just a tiny bit of matrix left. And this one, obviously, there's still a considerable amount. Um, I know that putting the big rock in this bucket uh, slowed everything down. Uh, you know, it was a lot of a lot of rock for the acid to eat on. If you put in little pieces like this, it would act much faster, and you wouldn't dilute your acid so much. But uh, I'm gonna get these ones set aside, and we'll get out the big one and see how that looks. All right, here's the big one. Uh, first thing I want to point out is uh, right here in the front, these couple of pieces just fell off as I picked it up uh, to get it out of the bucket, and you can see that the crystals are. Uh, really starting to stand proud as, a, as the material around them gets eaten. So, it's an interesting look midway through. I'm going to plop all these guys back in. Uh, these little ones down here actually uh, have almost no matrix on them, so those won't need to go back in. They're kind of shards. They're not great crystals, but still, it's an interesting experiment. I've never tried it on something this large. Um, you know, if this uses a prohibitive amount of uh, muriatic acid or anything like that, then it's not something I'm going to pursue because, you know, you got to be really careful in disposal and things. So, I'll uh, put this back in the bucket of acid, maybe check the pH. Uh, it still seems to be working on it, uh, so I think I might just put it in and not worry about the pH yet. But I might need to refresh it with a little bit of fresh acid uh, in the next couple days or a week or so. It's been another week. That's my last video, and a lot more of the calcite is gone. Up on the big piece, a lot of it's gone. You can see on the sides how much the acids actually really attack the dolomite also. A little cap of uh, quartz on the top is left unharmed, and it's eaten the dolomite right out from underneath it. So uh, I've had a couple of little stones fall out into the jug. Um, I've kept those. I'll show them all at the end when I'm done playing around with this. But at this point, the acid's getting a little weak. It's not uh, not really acting on the stone quite so much anymore. So I'm going to put in a little bit more. I'm going to you know keep what's in there, 
and uh, just add a little bit more to freshen it up and continue gnawing away on these. Um, just as part of an experiment also, I have a little garnet that I got at Deer Hill. And it was uh, stuck, in a, stuck in a piece of really flaky pegmatite. And I put that in there to clean off any residual stuff on it. And then this here is a piece of emerald. So, just for curiosity's sake, I have a big piece I want to cut, but I want to try and soak some of this host rock, whatever the matrix was there, off of this and see if it cleans up the piece of emerald a little bit. So those are going in the bucket too this week. So, I'll probably wait another week or two and make yet another video and see how things are coming along. And uh, maybe someday all the stones will fall off this big guy and right into the bucket. We'll see.